Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I'm Taylor. And if you like these kinds of videos, I hope that you'll subscribe down below. Today I'm participating in Croctober Extravaganza. You may have already seen some of your favorite creators participating. For the whole month of October, a new Crockpot video has been going out from a different creator. We're currently in week four. Yesterday, the Deep South Homestead posted and tomorrow that 1870s Homestead will be posting. For my video today, I'm making pizza soup. This whole collaboration has been put together by Amanda at The Beals and Lisa from Sutton's Days. They even put together a Facebook group for y'all where there's a giveaway each week. All the links to everyone's channels and the Facebook group will be down below. Make sure you check it out. Now let's get into this recipe. I started off by browning one pound of ground sausage on the stove. You could also use ground beef, ground turkey, or even Italian sausage. While the meat was cooking, I added my other ingredients to my crock pot. The full recipe will be listed out down below for you guys. So to my crock pot, I added one 24 ounce jar of marinara sauce. This was homemade sauce, but you could also use your favorite store-bought sauce. And then I filled that jar with about one cup of water and added that to my crock pot. Then I added two cups of beef broth, one cup of pepperoni that I had cut in half, and about half a cup of diced pepper. I used some diced up mini sweet peppers because that's what I had on hand and I wanted to use them up, but some green pepper would be good too. You could also add in some diced onion, but my marinara sauce already had onion in it. For seasonings, I added in half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of basil, and one teaspoon of oregano. When the sausage was done cooking, I drained the grease and then I added that to the crock pot. And for some extra flavor, I tossed in a Parmesan rind that I had in the freezer, but this is totally optional. Then I covered this and cooked it on low for four to six hours. Before serving, remove the Parmesan rind, and if you want to add in any other toppings like olives, mushrooms, or spinach, you're going to want to add those in for the last 30 minutes. My family unfortunately doesn't like any of those things, and I wanted olives in it, so I just put olives only in my bowl. I thought some bread would be good with the soup, so I baked some Italian bread. To the bowl of my mixer, I added in one and one third cups of warm water and one tablespoon of brown sugar. I stirred that around and then I added in two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast and I let that proof for about five minutes until it was foamy. Next, I added in one and a half teaspoons of olive oil, half of my flour, which was two cups, and one and a half teaspoons of salt. I stirred that together and then put on my dough hook and began kneading the dough. I slowly added in more flour until the dough no longer stuck to the sides of the bowl. I usually add close to another two cups of flour. This day I only needed to add about one and a half cups more for a total of three and a half cups of flour. Once all the flour was added, I let the mixer knead it for a couple of minutes.
Then I coated the ball of dough with olive oil and let it rest and double in size for about 45 minutes. After doubling in size, I divided the dough into two equal pieces to form two loaves, which I placed on my loaf pan. You can also just place them on a baking sheet. I covered the loaves and let them rise for another hour or until doubled in size. When ready to bake, I preheated my oven to 375 degrees and I mixed together an egg wash with one tablespoon of water and one egg. I brushed the egg wash on the loaves and then I sliced them down the center before baking for 30 minutes. I like to bake this bread with a pan of water on the rack beneath it because it helps get a nice crust. I serve the soup topped with mozzarella cheese and bread on the side for dipping. That is going to do it for this video. Let me know if you plan on trying this recipe. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to join the Crocktober Facebook group where we're sharing tips, tricks, and recipes and giveaways. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.